Okay. So I have our deltoid. And then on the rotator cuff here, you're using the spinatus scapula as your reference point. You have the supraspinatus above the spine and the infraspinatus below the spine and the teres minor and then the subscapularis. Flip it back over, not one of the rotator cuff muscles, but it's the teres major. All right, and we'll flip the arm back over. So you're flexing the muscle, biceps brachii. The deltoid is pointing at the brachialis. And then one, two, three, the triceps brachii. So we'll look down into the elbow here at the pronator teres. And flip it over, everything on the palm side is a flexor, everything on the dorsum is an extensor, I'm talking about the fingers. So this is flexor carpi radialis. And right in the middle, all the way down into the palm, is palmaris longus. And rotate again, the flexor carpi ulnaris. So we'll come back over here. So from the brachial region down to the radial side, the brachioradialis. And then right beside it here on the extensor side, the extensor carpi radialis longus. Right. And this one goes down and branches off into all the digits, the extensor digitorum. And then the last one over here, extensor carpi ulnaris. And keep trying to forget the abductor pollicis longus. Okay. Action. <laughs> so, gluteus maximus, that muscle there. And beneath that, gluteus medius, right there. Okay. All right, so this whole band going down here is your iliotibial tract or the iliotibial band. Connected to that would be the tensor fascia latte. Uh, this group of muscles on the front, the quadriceps. You have on your big toe side the vastus medialis. Right in the middle would be the rectus femoris. And beneath it would be the vastus intermedius. And the lateral side, vastus lateralis. You also have your sartorius that's going to cut across the front. Right, so on our hamstrings in the back, on the lateral side, the biceps femoris. And on the medial side, semitendinosus is the first one you see. And beneath it, on both sides, the semimembranosus. Okay. On the medial thigh, we'll see the sartorius coming in again and connecting down here with the gracilis. And in the middle of that little triangle will be the adductor longus, where the pectineus is hiding up in here. All right, so go to the lower leg, the tibialis anterior on the front of the tibia. And your extensor digitorum longus, that is all the digits. And your fibularis longus comes down and wraps around the lateral malleolus of the fibula. On the back, the gastrocnemius, and beneath it will be the soleus. You see it poking out on both sides. And then the Achilles tendon or the calcaneal tendon. Okay. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby, let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Okay, okay. okay. Into the beans. All right, so you have the pectoralis major, big wide muscle here. Beneath that, you see it on this side is the pectoralis minor. All right, these ones closest to the sternum here, the internal intercostals running internally. Over here, the external intercostals, fibers running externally. Uh, your six pack down here, the rectus abdominis. On this side, you're going to see the external oblique. And on the other side, running in, would be the internal oblique. Up in here, like the serrated edge of a knife, you have your serratus anterior. And if you flip it over, you'll see running transversely across the body, the transverse abdominis. And then the aponeurosis of the external oblique. You got that one.